Hello, my lovely colleagues and friends. I thought I would quickly do a tutorial for you to help you out um, in setting your students up for Canvas. Uh, the good news is um, most, if not all, your students should be on Canvas already. Um, the, the, the thing that you have to work on is getting them registered under your class. So I have a couple of tips for you that are, will really help you and hopefully save you a lot of um, time and trouble. So the first thing is, this is where you add, um, you go to Canvas and you go to People. On the left hand side, once you've already created your account, you'll go to People and you'll go to Add People by clicking on this button here. Now this is what makes Canvas, this is what makes it difficult because once you add people, um, Canvas requires that you, you type in the students' names and emails in a very specific format. Now if I were to type in every student's email um, using this format, it would take me hours upon hours because it, it just will. I mean, who has time to, you know, put their name in quotations, use a little brackets, put the email in, put a comma, and do that for every student name. That's just nearly impossible. So I found this spreadsheet online that will really help you to get started. So what I'm going to do is, I'll leave that open. I'm going to switch to um, this website that I found. Uh, it's, it's part of the Canvas community. And this guy who's brilliant created a spreadsheet um, to help us teachers with this issue. Now, you could do a, a self-enrollment code to enroll your kids, but I would not recommend doing that because it'll just be a mess. And Chris, um, he he used this, and it is just he said it was it was messy. So use the pre-made Google spreadsheet. You'll I'll send you the links to your email, but you'll click on the the spreadsheet, and it'll ask you, do you want to make a new copy of the spreadsheet? And you say yes, make a copy. You make a copy. And then from there, it takes a moment to load, it gives you a, a, a pre-made uh, spreadsheet. Now, the cool thing is um, there are actually two sheets. I know you can't see it very well, but there are actually two sheets down here. There's sheet one and sheet two. And so I know you can't see them, but they're there, sheet one and sheet two. And what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you're going to have your students um, input their name and their email into a Google form and then once that that because um, you're gonna go right at this point it's just a spreadsheet but when you go to um, see how I did it last time you'll go to I can't remember see now I'm drawing a blank when you're ready to, oh I got it okay you have to go to form and you'll go to go to live form so your students, you'll email them, you'll email every single one of them this link to this Google form. They'll put in their first, last name, and their email address. You want to make sure they write that correctly because oftentimes they will write it incorrectly. They'll write the period that they belong to. That's really important, and they'll submit it. And what will happen is on your end, it will populate a spreadsheet with all of their information. But the cool thing is it will have all their information plus the period that they belong to, and then you go to sheet two, and it'll it'll it will um, put their names and their emails into the format that Canvas requires. So basically, I do it by period. So I'll have like all of period one who submitted their names and their and their um, and their class. That'll that'll I'll see all of the names on spreadsheet one. But then when I go to spreadsheet two, automatically all of their names with their email addresses will be populated using the format that Canvas requires. So what I'll do is once I have that, I'll go ahead and copy all of their names, and then I'll go to Canvas. You can find it here. There it is. And I'll just paste it. And boom. Now I can go to Next. And, I, and I'm not going to add users because I don't want to. These are made, made up people. But basically, you'll have all your students there. And by the way, you'll have to, um, I think I made a mistake right now. When I, you need to, when you, when you do that, you need, to say, you need to state what period they belong to and make sure they have a student role. You don't want to give them a teacher role. And then basically, you'll wait for them to respond and you'll, you'll, um, you'll wait for them to, to um, accept your invitation. And I can go ahead and do a tutorial for you to send to your students so that they know how to accept an invitation from Canvas. Uh, a lot of kids had a lot of issues with that. I don't know why, but well, I guess they're eighth graders, and sometimes they need a little bit more support, which is totally okay. So 
uh, I'm going to show, I'll send you a tutorial on how to do that as well. So that's basically it. Um, I hope that helps you. And now from there, you'll, you'll have all their, their names, their IDs, and it'll tell you if they've accepted your invitation or not. I have one student who has not, and it says pending, which is from period seven. So it'll let you know who's accepted and who hasn't. So then you can bug them and nag them to hurry up and accept your invitation. So I'll send you the link to that spreadsheet, I, and then I will, I will send you the tutorial for your students so that they know how to um, accept the invitation from Canvas. All right? Have a good day.